find what you're looking for? My friends are always telling me that they go on the web and they can't find what they're after. Hey guys, my name is Farhan Thaur. I'm a product manager for Windows Live. And what we're doing here is a five-part series on what's new and cool in Windows Live in Canada. We're going to start off with my product, Live Search. Let's go inside. So what I want to show you guys is our new Live Search experience. So we'll go to live.ca. And I think a lot of people don't really know about all the cool features that are going on here. And that's what I want to show you today. We kind of do a lot of things that are different from some of the other search engines. I'm going to show you what those things are as well. And right away, you can see that we've got a nice, clean, fast interface. It's all Ajax. If I hover over the jewel here, you can see some of our other scopes. If I'm a user who really cares about controlling what I'm searching for and what I'm looking for, this is the experience for them. So I'll do a search right here to something relevant to Canadians, Stephen Harper. What you can see already is we've got news search for Stephen Harper, news results for Stephen Harper. We've got Wikipedia entries. And what we're really trying to do here is be really relevant to the user. Now, what's also cool about live search is as the advanced searcher, you can use some of our advanced query syntax. So what that means is, is that if I know some of the advanced operators, I can really narrow down my search. So here's an example. Um, I like to do this search often because I want to see if David Crow has uh, finally added me to his blog role. So I'll click on link from domain. And as you can see, some of my comments are showing up on David Crow's website, but he has not linked to me in, um, from his website in his blog role. So David, time for you to link to me. So now I'm going to click through and show you some of our image search material. Click on images. And again, we've got our cool Ajax-based website. If I hover over these images, we can easily show pop-ups which show you more descriptions. So again, I can see the resolution of the image, where it is. I can um, move left and right on this slider here to show more or less images depending on my resolution or my preference. If I click on one of these links, where I have a very busy page. And this happens to me a lot. I click through a page and now I've got hundreds and hundreds of images and where is that image of Belinda Stronach that I really wanted? I can click on show image and in a really, really quick and intuitive fashion, I can get to that image really, really quickly. Now what's cool about this as well is we can do a scratch pad and I can easily collect images from my various image searches. So if I click on scratch pad here, what it does is it opens up a cool scratch pad that allows me to drag and drop images and if I wanted to do add a cool Ty Domi and Belinda Stronach image together, I can grab one of these, throw it in, and as you can see down here, I've got the Ty Domi and Belinda Stronach um, image collected here, and I can actually take all these images together and uh, complete my work with it. Now, one thing that's cool about our search engine for images is we can easily see people that are related to Ty Domi um, in the web. Now, what I've always noticed about image search engines is when I click through results, I get a lot of dead links. And what we've done at Live Search is try to reduce the amount of, of dead links on both our web images and actually all across the search engines. One of the other features I wanted to show you was our macro feature. And what a macro is, is really a way for you to create your own search engine. And what this really does is it allows you to limit the searches to sites that you really care about. And let's say I want to create a search engine, a search engine that is relevant to people in uh, the Toronto area that care about universities. So I will say University of Waterloo, uh, University of Toronto, and let's say York U. All my searches are going to be limited to these three. So if I type in something like student ambassador, what I get is a preview of my search macro on the right hand side, relevant results that are from the entire web. On the left hand side, relevant results that are scoped by the three universities. So I'm going to close this page and actually go back and save this macro. And I'll actually say customize the page. So what this means is not only am I creating a search macro that I can use, I can actually send it around to my friends. It's also adding it to my scope bar. So the more uh, macros I create, the easier it is for me to go through all the different uh, relevant searches that are um, useful for me. That's it for now. See you next time.